Hey, Covenant Kids, we're so glad that you could join us today. We're excited to continue learning about prayer. But before we jump into our lesson, let's spend some time worshiping God together.
hide and seek. Where's your favorite place to hide? Behind a door, maybe in the bathtub. There's lots of really good hiding spots. While it's fun to hide when we're playing a game with our friends, there's some things that we don't need to hide, especially from God, like the wrong things that we do. Today, we'll see that it's good to freely confess or admit when we do wrong things to God because He always forgives us. Let's watch together. Welcome to Fantastic Forts. We take some sheets, we take some questions, we have some fun, and we share life. I'm Ashlyn, and this is my brother, Rodan, and you've entered Fantastic Forts. We are starting today with a game. Broden, what's your favorite candy in the world? <laughs> you know it. Gummies. Gummy worms, bears, butterflies, frogs. I love all the gummies. As a matter of fact, I believe I smell some right now. Your nose is right. I've hidden five wonderful gummy worms in today's fantastic fort. You can eat as many of them as you can find in the next 10 seconds, but you only get to use your nose. No peeking. Oh, I'm gonna get all five. Just tell me when to start because I can already smell where they are. Ready, set, go. Three, two, one. Oh no, time's up. What happened? Duh! <sighs> Whoa! Broden, you knocked down the fort. No, you hit the gummies too hard. But you knocked over the center pole! It was an accident. I didn't do it on purpose. Hey, we all make wrong choices sometimes. I know you were frustrated about not finding a single gummy worm. Actually, this is the same situation our viewer Becky was asking about for our question of the day. Becky asks, Yesterday, while talking at lunch, I made a joke about one of my closest friends. It was actually a very mean joke, and I knew it hurt her. But I wanted to make everyone laugh, so I told it. Now my friend seems upset. What should I do? The Bible talks about this in the book of 1 John. 1 John is a letter that tells the church how important it is to admit your wrongs and ask for forgiveness. Some members of the church denied that they were doing things that hurt God. Yeah, there were some people who said they never sinned, like they were completely perfect. God says that if we think we're completely perfect, then we're just fooling ourselves and we are not speaking the truth. Jesus paid for our sins so that we could be forgiven. When we deny that we've ever sinned, we're denying what Jesus did for us. That's crazy. The Bible says that we have all sinned. Admitting what we've done wrong means that we don't make excuses. We realize that it's our own fault. This takes a lot of courage. Yes, especially since the sinful things we do will still have consequences, like having to fix relationships with the people we hurt. Like Becky's relationship with her friends and my relationship with you. Yes. We can admit our sins to the people we hurt and ask for forgiveness. But the most important thing to remember is that God always forgives us. You see, Jesus is our advocate, our supporter, the person who speaks to God the Father for us. Jesus gave his life so that we could live forever with him. Oh, I see. Because of what Jesus did for us, we can approach God with courage, knowing that God will forgive us. And God doesn't just forgive us. He also helps us to love others instead of hurting them. Every time we admit our sins and ask for forgiveness, we show others that God has truly changed our hearts and we have been forgiven. But admitting what you've done wrong can still be scary. Yes, but we don't have to be afraid to admit our sins and mistakes to God because God loves us. Okay, it's time for me to come clean. Earlier, when I couldn't find any of the gummy worms, I got really frustrated and I hit the center pole, knocking down our fort. And I also lied about it, and that was wrong. I'm sorry, could you please forgive me? Broden, I forgive you. Thank you for admitting what you did and for telling the truth. Now, let's rebuild our fantastic fort. Hope we helped you have some fun in a fort and learn about life. God loves us and hears our prayers. And Jesus is always on our side. So when we do wrong things, we can admit our sins and ask for forgiveness because God, God forgives. forgives. All right, 
Kids, it's time for our word of wonder. I'm going to say the verse the first time, and then we'll try it together. But God has surely listened. He has heard my prayer. Give praise to God. He has accepted my prayer. He has not held back his love from me. Psalm 66, 19 through 20. Okay, let's try it together. I'll say it little by little and you repeat after me. But God has surely listened. He has heard my prayer. Give praise to God. He has accepted my prayer. He has not held back his love from me. Psalm 66, 19 through 20. Good job, kids. We make hundreds of decisions every day. Many of these decisions are good. You do things that are good and kind and helpful, like helping your mom wash the dishes or complimenting your sister on the outfit she picked out, or maybe helping a friend when they're struggling with something at school. I have a little bit of salt here, and Miss Michelle is gonna help me out. Okay, we're going to take some, a pinch of salt and put it in her hand to represent the good things that we do to help other people. We also have some pepper here, and the pepper is going to represent the wrong things that we do that can sometimes be hurtful to other people. Things that we say or do, maybe you tell a lie about your friend or you hit your brother. These are examples of sin. The Bible says that we all sin. Sin hurts not only us and other people, but it also hurts our relationship with God. Our lives are made up of good choices and wrong choices. When we do wrong things, sometimes we, have, we try to hide from God. We're gonna take this napkin and try to hide the wrong things that we did. We hide from God and hope that he'll forget about the bad things that we did. The book of 1 John is a letter that reminds us how important it is to pray to God when we do wrong things, admit that we've done wrong, and ask for forgiveness. John said that if we pretend that we don't ever do wrong things or sin against God, that we're kidding ourselves because we all sin. We can try to hide our sin, but it's still there. It doesn't go away. But here's the good news. In John's letter, he says that Jesus can save us. Jesus gives his life for us so that God will forgive us of our sins. To receive God's forgiveness, we must come to him, admit that we've done wrong things, and ask him to help us turn away from our sin. And he will forgive us every single time, no questions asked. Miss Michelle's going to give me a balloon now, and this balloon will be like Jesus. Let's see what happens when we come to Jesus with our sin and ask for forgiveness. What do you think's gonna happen to the salt and pepper when I hold up this balloon over it? Let's watch and see. Do you see the pepper stuck to the balloon? When Jesus died on the cross, he took all of our sins upon himself so that we could be forgiven by God. Sin is when we disobey God. And the Bible says we've all sinned. We all need God's forgiveness. Confession is admitting that we sin and asking God to forgive us. God sees everything. He knows when we sin. When we come to him and admit our sins, he will always forgive us. We don't have to hide from him. He's always on our side. God wants us to come to him and confess our sin, admitting when we make wrong choices and he will always forgive. All right, Covenant kids, God knows you, God loves you, and God leads you. Now go change your world.